So now let's take a look at our navigation and we're going to also make this view area here dynamic. So let's go ahead and close header and footer over here and even pages.php. Let's open up our navigation.php and let's just go ahead and get rid of this function here. We don't need that. We're not going to use that in the admin. We're going to do this a little more custom. We're going to do something similar to what we initially did on the front end before we did the uh, clean URLs. So let's just do page equals and we're just going to match the file name. So dash board. So, so we could do clean URLs in the admin if we really want to. Um, and you know, that's up to you. But uh, it's not as important because of the really the biggest reason to use clean URLs is for SEO. And we really don't want search engines finding our admin panel anyways. This is supposed to be private. So let's go ahead and do this for the rest. Page equals pages. page equals users and page equals settings. So now there's a couple other things we need to change. We'll save that and we'll go to our index. But uh, before we do anything in here, we need to do something again similar to what we did on the front end. Let's go into config and let's go to setup.php and uh, since we copied this before we did the clean URLs, which I kind of did intentionally. Um, we already kind of have this set up. Let's go ahead and change this just to uh, page instead of page ID. And uh, we're not going to be using the uh, data page function in the admin. So let's go ahead and get rid of line 34 altogether. And that way we don't override uh, our page variable. Um, and then let's change the default value for page to a string and it's going to be dashboard save that now let's hop back over to index.php remove the word pages we're going to concatenate so do a single quote period pages page period and then start the string again with a single quote and save that and let's take a look so refresh should go to the dashboard which is empty oh you see what happened here um, we actually reverted back to our front end and that is because when we put in the page equals pages in the navigation we did not include the question mark so it's expecting this to be part of our URL for the uh, front end so let's fix that really quick so let's hop over to navigation.php and let's put our question mark here. Let's save that. And let's just go ahead and put it in here in the URL and hit enter. There you go. So there's pages. Click on users, dashboard, settings. So let's hop over really quick here to here and let's open up our views. So we'll do dashboard, pages settings and users so for pages let's go ahead and change this heading to page manager and we'll go ahead and copy this heading go over to dashboard paste that change this to dashboard save it go ahead and save pages while you're at it Go over to settings and we'll paste that. We'll call this site settings. Save that. And for users, do paste and we'll call this user manager. Save that. So now if we go back to our admin, we at least get a uh, heading. 